G'day, I'm Pete and you're watching Drill Fabrications. Today we do a rather large repair on the lower balance of the old clapped out Capri and finish up by putting some speed holes on it. What am I talking about? Well I'll give you a bit of history. The car when I bought it had a slot cut in there and shout out to Streetwise Photography. Uh, this is the car racing at Pukekohe, you can see that slot uh, down low and that was something I wanted to tidy up. And I made it even worse when I was doing the rust repair for the cross member, the front cross member. I had to cut that out entirely to be able to pull the cross member out. So what I've ended up left with of the lower balance is this. Twisted, rusty, not worth trying to save. So that's going into the bin. Now there are some small holes behind the bumper of the Capri. Again, they're not in a great spot for uh, any radiator cooling or airflow into the radiator because the bumper blocked it. So what I've done is decided to bring my repair all the way up above those so that my new holes sort of didn't interfere or I didn't have to weld a little patch piece. I could just go all the way across. And I think that was a really good decision. It meant I was welding quite close to a seam so I didn't get too much warpage or anything there, so I was pleased with that. So once I figured out the size of the repair piece I needed, I rough cut that out, and here is where I'm pinching some ideas for another YouTuber, he's a Canadian, uh, Fitzy's Fabrications. He's done a bunch of rust repair videos, and he's clearly very good at it, and has done it for a long time. So I've pinched his ideas, thanks a lot mate. They're being used all the way in, uh, in New Zealand from Canada. So his technique is to lay your new repair piece over the existing panels, which I could do in this, in this case. I still had a lot of my balance left, and I also had the point at the very bottom for the cross member as sort of reference as well. So I overlay it and uh, press it down flat and tack weld the edges, and really get that panel into position. I also had to hand form a little V on there because the Capri has uh, a sort of little bit of a of that shape in the nose cone and I'd sort of just lost a little bit of the bottom of it. So I just added that in uh, so I didn't lose that look entirely. So with that done and the panel overlaid, tack welded into place, here's sort of the magic of this technique. What you do is you go around with the zip disc on the angle grinder at a 45 degree angle, cutting uh, along the line of your new repair piece through um, the existing panel. You, you do it in sections, maybe three spot welds on a time, push in with your cold chisel to get the two panels to line up perfectly flush put a couple of tacks in um, for those few inches you've done and then carry on. What that does is it means that the two panels are sort of being supported the whole time you're doing that process and it means that you can get the panels lined up very flat and flush and a square edge butted up as well. It's time to pull the old pieces out from the back side because we don't want to leave those there and sometimes they can get hung up with a little bit of the weld when you're, you're doing that procedure but I find you just give them a bit of a wiggle by hand and then they'll come out and you may have to cut them into a couple of sections or whatever and sometimes it's, you can do that before if you, if you can't get the angle grinder in there um, access wise, sometimes you won't be able to I could get the angle grinder in from the back side so I just jumped in there and zipped it out went around, welded everything up fully that's a very slow process, got to make sure you don't warp anything, just a, a tack an inch, um, go the whole way around the thing, the thing and then start back again and cool it down with compressed air if you need to. 
And essentially that is the repair done. I did need to do a little bit of hammer and dollying to try and just tidy up the shape a wee bit. Um, and also go around a little bit more just to fix up a few pinholes. Not unexpected with that way of welding. But necessary when you're trying to keep everything nice and cool. So with that done, I was ready to actually decide where I wanted my new vents. Uh, for that, I wanted to slap the bumper on so I could eyeball everything. Drew them with pen uh, a couple of times first so I could just have a good visual, stand back, look at it, make sure I actually wanted to do it and not just to, to leave it. Uh, decided to go work through with it and have them just below the bumper there and in that position. What's behind it is the radiator, so air should hopefully go straight through into the radiator. There could be a little bit of deflection off the bumper, but, you know, I'm trying to be reasonably practical with this. And I think they ended up looking pretty good. With that done, you know, zip them open with the angle grinder, tidied up with the file, and then I was ready to swage a bit of an edge on there. Wanted it just to look a bit more tidy and finished particularly since it's something you see from outside the car. Uh, for that, you've seen me do this a couple of times, just made a little metal die, tack welded on the back, and then again around with the hammers, um, taking it easy to make sure I don't dent the whole thing in. Um, trying to hit down onto the metal as opposed to straight in, sort of hitting down at a 45. Took the time and uh, all I really needed to do with that was tidy it up with a file. Didn't take too much at all to get that all tidied up. And here's the finished result. Pretty happy with it really. Um, it will need a bit of filler where I did those butt joins out in open space. But not really unexpected and the very ends of the panels have had a little bit of previous sort of damage and repair over the years anyway. So the whole thing will get a skimmer filler and will be job done. But we are going to do the sanding, filling and all of that in another episode. Uh, that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the speed hole episode. If you're interested, go check out some of the other ones about cross member repairs and stuff if you haven't seen any of the videos before. Racing season's not too far away. We're booked in to go racing in November, so still got a bunch of work to do on the car. I need to go and do some work. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.